Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Cuthbert. Brought up by a foster mother named Kenswith, this famous English saint was a shepherd, a native of Northumbria. As a young man, he had to help defend his country against the attacks of King Penda of Mercia. But when peace was restored after the battle of Winwidfield in 651, He carried out his boyhood dream of becoming a monk. He joined the Benedictines at Mailross Abbey and soon became conspicuous for his learning and holiness, which God confirmed by numerous miracles. For a number of years, he was guest master at the newly founded monastery of Ripon, but returned to Mailross with a group of disappointed monks when Ripon turned from the Celtic to the roman usage concerning the easter date as soon as the synod of witby however decided in favor of the roman custom in 664 he immediately confirmed he was appointed prior at lindisfarne and was able by his consummate tact and patience and through the evident holiness of his life to win over the entire community which had still obstinately clung to the ancient celtic customs after retiring for some 9 years to a nearby island for a life of contemplation cuthbert was in 685 consecrated abbot bishop of lindisfarne by saint theodor of canterbury and labored with great success at the sanctification of the faithful but after only a year he resigned in anticipation of his approaching death He died on the 20th of March 687. The shrine of this wonder worker of England in Durham Cathedral was the most frequented pilgrimage center of pre-Reformation England and 400 years after his death his body was found to be still incorrupt. His relics are among the very few which escaped destructions or loss under Henry VIII but the exact place of concealment is known only to four english benedictine monks who hand their secrets down from one generation to another saint cuthbert is a patron of sailors